In this A10 mini training, I'll share with you how you can use your smartphone as a backup internet connection or the only internet connection when live streaming. As you probably know by now, you can stream with your ATEM over a wired ethernet connection, or you can use it as a capture device and bring a stream feed into your computer over the USB connection. But what if you're in a location where the internet is iffy or non-existent, but you have cell phone service? First things first, hit the like and subscribe button below this video so I know that you're interested in seeing more videos just like this. Let's begin. I'll start with my iPhone and a lightning to USB-C cable, and I'll plug the iPhone into the ATEM. Keep in mind, if you're on an ATEM Mini Pro, you only have one USB-C port, whereas the Extreme model has two, so this method means losing the ability to record to a solid state drive or using your ATEM as a capture device if you have a Mini Pro or ISO model. Begin in the ATEM setup software and this is a different application than the ATEM software control. Here, you'll see your ATEM has been found and you'll want to click the button for the settings just beneath the ATEM. Under the network tab, you'll find an option for connection priority. All you need to do from here is change the setting from ethernet to mobile. Back in the ATEM software control, you'll see a blue phone icon in the output tab under live stream settings. This identifies the phone as your primary streaming connection. Now, what if you go through all of this and you realize your stream is stuck with a full cache? Chances are your phone either A, doesn't have tethering enabled, in which case you'll need to contact your carrier, or B, your phone's upload speed is simply too slow. I recommend downloading the speed test app on your phone when testing this and running a speed test with Wi-Fi disabled so you can determine the true upload speed. Remember, upload is what matters since you are uploading information to the internet. If your phone isn't getting at least 10 to 15 megabits per second, then you'll either need to lower the bit rate or find a more reliable connection. To lower the streaming bit rate, go into your ATEM software control and under the live stream section, change the quality from streaming high to streaming medium or streaming low. Streaming high is six to nine megabits per second. Streaming medium is four and a half to seven megabits per second. And low is three to four and a half megabits per second. These are variable bit rates. So that's why it's not a constant number. When there is more information on the screen, like in a busy, colorful shot with a lot of movement, the bitrate would tend to go higher, while a static PowerPoint slide that's black and white may require as little as one half of a megabit. One final note, instead of using your phone, alternatively, you could get a hotspot. I recommend the Netgear Nighthawk 5G hotspot since it has an ethernet port and you could connect it directly to your ATEM with an ethernet cable, freeing up the USB-C port. So did this ATEM tip help you out on a live stream? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. That's all for this quick tip. See you in the next video.